My name is Boris Becker. Here I am because uh, I am the ambassador of Mercedes-Benz already for a long time. And they're very heavily involved in tennis, which you know I like a lot. Uh, so I, I um, travel uh, all around the world um, for their most important tournaments to uh, re represent the brand and, and you know speak about tennis. You had several battles with Stefan Erbay, but you never met here in Bostad. It's true. I've. Uh, uh, um, he was my my toughest rival. You know, we've played I don't know 50 times. Uh, we've had three consecutive Wimbledon finals. Uh, we had the Davis Cup final uh, twice. Uh, um, you know, pre pretty much on all the big big stages we've played. Um, and we had tough matches. He was a tough competitor, but he was a nice guy. You know, we, we I think we have a tremendous amount of respect for each other. Um, there isn't a, a, a moment that I could say I don't like this guy. You know, it's, it was tough on the court. I, mean, I wish I would have won more, uh, but um, he, he's a good guy. And now you will meet Stefan on the court here. Yeah, this afternoon. I'm excited. I'm going to see him. I think for lunch, and we're going to speak a little bit about the good old days, and then uh, we have a presentation on the court. Uh, should be should be fun. Which one of all games against Stefan was the greatest? I I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, you know, after three Wimbledon finals, he beat me twice. Um, but I remember the one I've beaten him. Um, I think beating him in Davis Cup in Sweden, it was a big one for me. Uh, you know, we as I said, we've played a number of times in the Stockholm Open final. Um, you know, there are so many matches we've played, and it's it's tough to say. The one. Who, in your opinion, is or was uh, the greatest tennis player uh, in the last 50 years? This is um, uh, a question a lot of people want to want to know. Uh, I've been fortunate to have played with uh, Stefan Edberg and Mats Vilanda. Uh, I've never really played with Bjorn Borg, uh, but I've played with Pete Sampras, with Agassi. Um, and uh, when I stopped, um, Roger Federer's time just started, and then obviously Nadal came and, and Djokovic. And uh, record-wise, you must say Roger Federer is the most successful. Um, was he the best? Uh, tough to say. Um, was Rod Laver better? Was Pete Sampras better? Was Bjorn Borg better? Was Nadal better? Uh, uh, at the end of the day, you have to see who won the most. And Roger, having won now 17 Grand Slam, is pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, perfect. Let's go back with me. Like that boom, boom, pow, them when you used to play, there were many profile, charismatic players, uh, but nowadays, uh, no profile uh, in that mean. Uh, what do you think about it? I, I actually like um, a lot the top uh, tennis players these days. I think um, Roger Federer is a great ambassador. I, I um, you know, I'm amazed about Nadal and Djokovic and about their personalities. Um, you know, and, and last week you could see that Andy Murray uh, is very much a uh, character as well. Um, but it's different times, you know, media is very involved in it. I think most players are careful to show the human side or the other side they have uh, to, to, to protect themselves. Uh, but I'm, I'm a big fan of the men's, men's uh, players and I think they're, they're great players. Are you calmer these days? I'm a little bit older, and I'm supposed to be a little bit wiser and, and calmer. Uh, but I'm, I was, you know, I was always a, a bit of a character, uh, uh, and I think that that's still very much the case. Mm -hmm.